Hello guys, welcome to Weekly Tarot Forecast Geminis. This is for the week of February 24th. Happy new moon in Pisces. And we're still in Mercury retrograde, guys. So cross your T's, dot your I's, triple check everything. I don't know about you, but my dreams have been crazy. And please comment down below, share your stories, guys. This energy has definitely bring in a lot of things to the surface. I mean, it's Pisces season, right? So all the emotions, dreams, how we're feeling, our intuition is heightened. It's an incredible time. Now this is for Gemini, sun, moon, or rising. So please be sure to check all three. And if this is your first time watching me, thank you so much. If it serves or resonates with your helps in any way, please like, subscribe, comment down below. I really do appreciate it. All right, Gemini, let's get started. Deep breath in. Ground out. Here we go. Living guidance with the energy of Gemini for the week of February 24th. I'm liking this. All right. I'm going to get a clarity card here really quickly. All right. We have the Knight of Wands, the King of Coins, the Ace of Coins, the Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands. And I wanted clarity on this Nine of Wands over here. Sorry. Here. And I got the Strength card, the Four of Coins, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so for you, Gemini, this week is work, work, work. And I do see a level of you kind of doing it in order to distract yourself. But hear me out. We have the Knight of Wands with the King of Earth. So this is about working with your passion. It looks like there's going to be a new opportunity for abundance, prosperity. This might be a new job, a promotion, career advancement in some way, or even some kind of contractual work. But understand that this is a very promising venture. I know we're in Mercury retrograde, so people are like, don't sign anything. And I get it. But if this is something that kind of started before retrograde, like you've been working on it, applying, interviewing, go for it. I mean, of course, triple check everything. Read through everything. Make sure you got everything correctly. But other than that, this is about, this is a very fast moving week. You have the eight of wands as well. So this is go, go, go. Be, I mean, pay attention to the details. Think things through carefully, but keep the momentum going. When you have the king of coins, guys, this is long-term finance, abundance, whatever it is that's coming in this new opportunity. It is not just for this moment. It's something that you're either going to build upon for the long-term growth and success. For instance, you finally got into um, university or you finally got into that niche, into that industry, and this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. When you have the king of coins, you have the Midas touch. Opportunities are flowing in, up, like money, abundance, and abundance isn't just financial. It's time. It's it comes in turn support. It comes in many, many ways. And this is a real, I would guide you and you can do whatever you want, but accept these opportunities confidently. This is something that you've been working towards, putting your energy into. But again, just a little, that little side note to, to read through everything. You have the nine of wands with the eight of wands. This is where I'm seeing a little bit, um, a, a need for motivation, self-motivation this week. It looks like there might be a little bit of stubbornness for change because you have the strength card and every reader is different. This is just my interpretation. The strength card tends to be breakups for me. It doesn't have to just be romantic. It could be any kind of changes or, or like in dynamics that is causing you to really find that inner strength, to really find that inner confidence, that inner self-love to heal and move forward. When you have the nine of wands with the eight of wands, it's like, look, it delays are over. Things are moving forward. You're going to have to pull up that inner strength. You're going to have to not give up on yourself. You're going to have to kind of protect the ground that you work so hard towards. Now you have the four of coins and the four of coins is number one. Be really smart with your money right now, Gemini. Don't be too frivolous. Don't hold on too tight because that's a lack of mentality and be open to change, especially when it comes to these opportunities. I think this is why they're saying, look it, move quick, strike while the iron is hot. Whatever this is that's coming through, it's very promising contracts and business ventures opportunities. So even if it looks a little different than what you, you thought or it's coming in a different form, 
Don't be too attached or too stubborn to how this opportunity is presenting itself. It Just because it looks different doesn't mean it's less than. It could actually be a lot better than you expected. So kind of just stay in that flowy mode. Maybe focus a little less on the soft and the problem on other people. You have the three of cups. This is good news. Gemma, you are getting good ass news this week. It's something to celebrate, some kind of announcement. And you're going to feel so good. So whatever it is where you feel the need to kind of pump yourself up, to kind of have faith in yourself, to kind of stand your ground. So for instance, this opportunity could be coming, but it's not the amount you want to get paid. All right. If you have the nine of wands, you have to counter offer. Say, look, at, I love this opportunity. However, this is the salary I'm looking for. Don't be afraid to, to know your value, to stand up for that value. You didn't hustle all this time just to be paid or to be offered less than what you deserve. So you stand it. Don't be afraid. Don't give up. Protect yourself. Have courage. Believe in yourself. By the way, whenever you get offered jobs, they tend to go a little under. So go a little higher. So when you guys negotiate, you're right where you want to be. And research. Do some research on how to negotiate if that's the case. But you guys, this is an incredible opportunity and it's going to move fast. It's going to move fast, so do not procrastinate on jumping on it, holding that communication, triple check your emails, follow up on those voicemails, guys, but this is going to be some good, good news. It's just asking you not to be too stubborn. As long as you get what you need, that's great. You might not get everything you want, but that's negotiable later. So this is it's coming in, Gems, and I'm super happy for you guys. The new moon in Pisces is offering all these. It's making a most space for the new, and it's and wonderful. Even though we're in Mercury retrograde, it's not supposed to be a bad thing. It's so that you can reassess, reevaluate, you know, redefine anything with a re, reframe, so that you can switch any kind of unhealthy attachments to thoughts and ideas and beliefs and people, so you can make space for what's actually better for you, healthy for you, that allows you to live your best self. Guys, if you like a more in-depth reading, a healing session, a manifestation session, my link will be down below. I'm still offering 15% off love readings for the rest of the month of February. That's also down below. Otherwise, have a beautiful week, a wonderful new moon in Pisces, guys, and I will see you next week for next week's readings.